Hey guys, how's it going? Brendan here, aka Mr. Weaver Face, and I am excited to start working on these cabinets. I just picked these up if you saw my recent pickup video. These are my first two arcade games that I've ever owned. Uh, this one here is Time Pilot on the left and then Gyrus on the right. Um, and just to review, both were working when I picked them up and both were working when I finally put them in these spots. But then the Gyrus started acting finicky uh, when I plugged it in a second time once it was in this spot. Like it wasn't booting up properly. And I asked some people online and they thought maybe the, the five volt uh, control knob needs to be adjusted to get more uh, voltage to the board so it functions properly. So I hope that's all it is. And I was looking at both of them and the Time Pilot has a lot of wear here on the bottom and some water damage. I was thinking of working on that one first. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the gyrus because the cabinet looks in much better shape. And if I can get the game working with some adjustments, that would be fantastic. Uh, so yeah, in this video series, I'm just gonna be doing some random stuff to my cabinet. A uh, few things that I wanna do first. Uh, both of the ground pins were pulled from the uh, plugs here, so I'm going to replace those. And I went in here and tried to look for a key for the back door, but there's none in there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to drill out the lock on the back door. I'm gonna have to replace this lock because um, I don't have keys for that as well. And that's easy because it's already unlocked, so that's awesome. And uh, this control uh, was not working on the right side. And I'm hoping it's just some loose uh, leaf switches in there. Um, but this thing, freaking both of them smell and they're freaking filthy so the first thing that we're probably going to do today is just clean this up with simple green and some magic eraser and see if I can get this uh, looking looking pretty nice my goal is really just to keep it as original as possible maybe put some new tea molding on there but I'm gonna just scrub it all down and see how this game looks I mean there's just there's dust on there. I'm sure there's like 30, 40 year old dust on the inside too on the monitor. But uh, yeah, I mean the marquee looks good. The bezel looks good. I mean, everything looks freaking awesome on this thing. And there, the, and there, this cabinet's definitely in much better shape than the Time Pilot. So let me wheel it out here in the middle of the garage and uh, get start working on it. All right, so here it is in the middle of the garage floor. And I'm gonna just tell you right now, I am a novice at all of this stuff. Like I'm learning pretty much from what I learned on YouTube, mostly John at John's Arcade. So uh, tip number one, <laughs> uh, when uh, using a dolly to wheel this thing, always do it from the back because this wood down here is old and I already freaking dinged it up uh, from the dolly. So yeah, that is a, rookie mistake right there but uh i was thinking maybe of painting this anyway because you know this is like flaking off here so i'd have to sand all that down and repaint it get this uh looks like someone used duct tape on that it's freaking fantastic <laughs> uh there's some sticker residue up here try to get that off some staining but, i mean this thing is dirty uh man i'm hoping like it just looks like there's, I'm hoping that that will come off with just some easy cleaning. The back is horrendous. Look at all that freaking grime, man. Um, and yeah, missing a key here. So I'm gonna have to drill that out. Top looks good though. Look how dirty that is though. That's horrible. Man, but the artwork, artwork looks great. Like, it looks so good. I mean, there's, I don't know what that was, but it came right off. Artwork looks great. I mean, there's some scratches here, but maybe they'll come off with the good cleaning. I mean, there's wear down there towards the bottom. But yeah, I'm excited to get started on this. Let's get to work. All right, guys, so this is stuff I got, the simple green, got some paper towels. I'm not using the simple green straight up, so I did get a bottle, a spray bottle, and dilute it with water. They say you can do it like one to 10, so that's kind of like what this is in here. 
So I'm just gonna start spraying the sides, spraying my paper towels, and hopefully this cleans up nice. I don't want to rub too hard, but there's like, it seems crusty. Like this, this is so smooth right here, but this is like all rough. So I wonder if like, It's definitely a different texture. Man, look at, it's horrible. I'm gonna go through this whole roll of paper towels. I'm just putting on some light pressure. Like that's definitely dirt. I'm not taking off the paint. If it was paint, it would be black. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see that like this, like I'm cleaning the crap out of it. And there's still this white residue. Um, here I, you know, I am like working on it, so it is coming off. But that, I mean, I don't know, this is gonna take a lot of elbow grease. So I'm very tempted to use like a sponge with a little bit of a kind of harder surface. Maybe if I go just a little, a little bit with some uh, cleaner that'll get that off a little bit quicker. I don't want to scrub too hard though. So I, I may try the sponge and see if that works a little bit better. I'm just waiting for it to dry off a little bit, but it looks like, you know, it's still coming back. And that, it's, it's really unique because these, this is very smooth and this is like a rougher texture. And these do, these appear a little more elevated than this. So like all the dirt has settled into these black crevices. And that's kind of like what I'm dealing with right now. Like even after I used the sponge and just wiped the um, paper towel over it, there was still a lot of grime coming off. And I just like wiped it very uh, gently. So I got a bit off of here. There's some more white stuff here. All right, so let's keep going though. This is gonna take a while. Look at that white stuff there. And then as I'm pushing the grime over, like there's like a, a huge grime, like, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of like cleaning your shower or bathtub. Like when it gets dirty, it gets that kind of, there's that resistance when you're scrubbing it. And then when it's clean, it's like super smooth. So that's kind of like how I'm, gauging if it's cleaned up or not. When I'm cleaning it, if it's still some resistance, then I know I need to go over it more. But uh, yeah, I mean, as it dries, you know, you can see, like it's looking so much better at the top. Like that is fantastic. Like there is no, I mean, there's a little bit here and a little bit over there, but it looks so much better. God, I've been doing this for like at least a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice in here. Now I'm wondering, I wonder if I'm taking off the film of the laminate, since I'm a rookie, that's probably what it is. Um, it doesn't look like flaky like this though. But again, you know, I don't know any better. But I mean, look how, how scummy that is. I mean, 
I, I think it's dirt because I mean these are like the trail marks from the simple green that came down when I was cleaning the top and I really think it's dirt but maybe it's part of the laminate but in either case like when I clean all this crap off it looks so much nicer and that's that's what I'm gonna do because it I mean you can see a little bit on the you know there's like a little film there so I'm wondering if I'm taking off the film off of the black. But I mean the black feels nice and smooth kind of like uh, the colored pieces are now so I don't I don't know but in any case like I said I'm gonna keep at it because that does not look good and that looks way better. Guys, I think I'm done for now, and I just got the one side done. Oh man, uh, a lot of elbow grease. I'm all out of elbow grease, so I can't go any further. And I think I pulled a muscle in my back. That's how hard I was scrubbing this thing. Um, what really helped out towards the end, and I think I'm just going to do this when I do the other side, is uh, use some simple green there with a the magic eraser. That seemed to work out really well towards the bottom because it was really caked on there. Um, so if you look closely, you can kind of see some of that residue there. I have to catch the light. Um, so yeah, once I get my elbow grease back, I'll scrub a little bit more on that. But uh, I mean, that looks remarkably better. That looks so amazing. And just in case I don't have a good photo, before photo of that side, I mean, this is what the other side looks like. You can see all this white crap pretty much going down the whole way. Man, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, this side here probably took me a good hour and a half, two hours, no kidding. Oh, it was rough, but uh, it's going to look amazing in the end. This side looks so much better. So there you go, guys. Use some simple green. Use a magic eraser or a sponge. A lot of paper towels and uh, get some elbow grease and it'll come out looking sweet. So that's my first video of my gyrus series. Thanks for watching. I'm Brendan, a.k.a. Mr. Weaver Face. Take care.